Hi, my name is Kevin Costa. I'm a professor here in the Department of Cardiology in Mount Sinai. My background is in biomedical engineering, and I'm one of the organizers of this year's uh, Mount Sinai Health Hackathon. And what I'd like to talk about in today's uh, video is uh, what is a health hackathon and what do I need to do to get involved? As everybody knows, our lives are increasingly connected and digital. Uh, people are involved in online shopping, online um, meetings uh, through work and through social networks. You know, everyone carries a smartphone, it seems. And this is just sort of a change in our modern day uh, lifestyle. As you probably also know, our healthcare system has undergone similar changes. Um, there's an increasing dependence on the de development of novel technology-based solutions for healthcare. Um, and as you can see in the slide here, whether it's uh, novel imaging techniques, uh, robotic surgery, new uh, prosthetic devices, uh, and even the uh, software-based electronic medical records and consumer products like uh, wearable sensors. Uh, so again, this is a u ubiquitous um, change in how healthcare is being delivered and, and experienced. And successful innovation uh, in healthcare requires effective collaborations among those working in the healthcare field as well as those in technology development. When we talk about the technology development process, it's traditionally an involved circular process that starts with identifying a need, uh, moving on to developing a prototype, possibly protecting IP, going on to FDA approval and even marketing at the end. But this process uh, often involves technologists who don't necessarily understand the needs and the nuances of the healthcare industry. And conversely, those that are involved in healthcare don't always grasp the capabilities and the possibilities of the, of the technology that's available. And so the purpose of the Mount Sinai Health Hackathon is to disrupt this process uh, at the very earliest phase. Indeed, this is building on a cultural uh, revolution that's focused on democratizing innovation to make it more accessible to anyone. It's called the maker movement. The idea is that you don't need to have formal engineering training to come up with an idea, create a computer model using open so source software, send it to a school or a local maker space to get an inexpensive functional 3D printed prototype. This idea of makers, innovators, developers, uh, hackers is a growing movement and the flagship forum that stimulates this kind of spirit is called the Hackathon. Uh, so what is a hackathon? This is sort of a blending of the word hacking and marathon, where hacking is a exploratory technology development, uh, which was originally developed for deciphering uh, software code, um, and marathon, right, a long-term long-lasting intensive uh, task. These uh, hackathons are typically multi-day events uh, where teams work together to develop solutions for a common theme, and they promote novel technology solutions involving apps, software, hardware, et cetera, um, and it really encourages cross-disciplinary uh, learning and teamwork, and this is exactly the sort of multidisciplinary team-based approach that's necessary to see, succeed in the healthcare innovation field. Just as an aside, uh, we want to clarify that hacking in the headlines, unfortunately, has come to be synonymous with computer crime and cyber attacks, but this was not the original uh, meaning of, of uh, hacking and hackathons, uh, and this is not what we're talking about in this, in this case. In fact, the original ha hackathon was developed almost 20, uh, started almost 20 years ago uh, by Sun Microsystems. It was an internal brainstorming session to try and develop new software innovations for the uh, Palm Pilot uh, platform, if any of you remember that technology. And then in uh, 2010, there was the first Health Hackathon, which was a collaboration between Health 2.0 and the Department of Health and Human Services. And from there, uh, these hackathons have grown exponentially. So at Mount Sinai, our Health Hackathon has the mission of bringing to together uh, students, trainees, faculty, and other stakeholders from the New York City uh, area in a high energy setting to explore solutions for managing, monitoring, and treating um, urgent healthcare problems. The idea is to cultivate an ecosystem at Mount Sinai, fostering multidisciplinary team-based health tech innovation. And of course, an important part is to have a good time doing it. When we held our first hackathon event last year, uh, we asked participants why they were interested in participating. And some were interested in, in developing a startup, some were just curious and wanted to get new knowledge about uh, healthcare, but uh, a large majority actually had an idea that they wanted to uh, develop and were looking for a place to find 
team members to find solutions to the problem that they've been. So this slide shows what we call the, the Hackathoners Toolkit. Um, as you can imagine, it's not only important to have technical skills, but it's also important to be creative, to have inspiration, to be a, a team worker, and uh, be willing to take risks in coming up with new solutions. Leave it up to the organizers of the hackathon to put together the right mix of people. I think just to give an idea of what a hackathon event is actually like, I'm gonna, um, I'd like to present a few slides from last year's event that kind of cover the sequence of the, of the three days. The registration uh, for this event included uh, about 70% of people from here at Mount Sinai, um, and about a third um, were from outside of the institution. So we had a good mix of cultures. About half were scientists and medical specialists and students, and the other half were engineers, hardware and software developers, uh, user interface designers, and so forth. On the first day, um, people were exposed to uh, experts uh, with uh, that give some brief presentations to sort of set up the problem. Last year's problem was focused on pain and fatigue, and this year we're talking about the problem of cancer. Um, but it sort of sets the stage and identifies which, what are some of the important problems in the, in the field. And then participants take turns presenting, um, uh, pitching their problems, uh, what is it that they'd like, they'd like to solve, um, and also um, breaking up and uh, meeting together based on what, what problems were presented and starting to formulate uh, solutions for, for those problems. At the end of the day, at the end of the first day, uh, over some food, um, people got together and formed teams and started to coalesce around what uh, they wanted to work on for the majority of the hackathon. And then basically all day on Saturday, the second day, was focused on problem solving, designing, uh, making, coding, prototyping. It's all the sort of meat and potatoes of actually going from having an idea about a solution to actually having a product. On the final day, teams got to present their, uh, pitch their ideas in front of a group of uh, practice judges so that they could uh, see how, get some feedback on, on their solution and eventually actually present to a final group of judges that included uh, experts in the field, uh, patient stakeholders, uh, local leaders in the New York City biotech uh, entrepreneurship space, and uh, as you can see here, we had 14 teams all together who offered solutions in terms of uh, wearable devices, apps, you know, web, web resources, uh, software, as well as hardware solutions. And I think the take home message from this slide is that if you look at the three winning teams in, uh, in highlighted in blue, they had at least four people on their team. So you need sort of a critical mass of, of, uh, of team members. Um, and they all had experts both from the technology side as well as the clinical side. So that multidisciplinary uh, focus is important. As an example success so story from one of the uh, MIT Hacking Health uh, events recently, it was a company called PillPack that came up with a, a simple idea of packaging different uh, medications together so that it's easy to uh, keep track of what you have to take each day. It was launched uh, from an event in 2014, uh, and within a year it had raised $4 million in, in seed funding and uh, now has over 200 employees in 49 states and has raised over $60 million in funding. So the bottom line is participating in a health hackathon like this could literally change your life. We hope you'll take a risk and participate in Mount Sinai's Health Hackathon this fall. You can find more information and the latest uh, updates on the event at the following website. Thank you.